Last week we had this test, and this is problem one, which was really the hardest problem on the test based on results. And really kind of disappointing because it's kind of a summation of what the course is. I looked at the rest of the test. Students did a lot better on the rest of the test. And so I just have to chalk it up to, well, uh, we have to be able to, to do calculus for different functions from graphs and from tables. This one's from a table. And so uh, let's just go ahead and look over this problem. The function f continues on the closed interval from negative 2 to 4. Its derivatives have the values indicated in the, in the table below. And so we're given for x values of negative 2, negative 1, and between negative 2 and, and 1, and between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, and between 3 and 4, x equals 4. So we're looking over these intervals. And uh, find the x-coordinates of all the local extrema of f on the interval from negative 2 to 4 and indicate which are maxima and which are minima. Justify your answer. Well, one thing I've talked about in my class is using a number line. And I'm just going to create a number line here. I'm going to try to go to the table above. And our critical numbers we look for where f prime of x is either 0 or undefined. And see at x equals 1, I'm just coming from above here where it says x equals 1. Uh, f prime of x equals 0, that's a critical number, and that's going to be at 2. And then f prime of x is again undefined where x equals 3. So basically, we're going to look for f prime of x here above, and we're going to put f of x below. And between, for this interval, from negative 2 to 1, we have f prime of x greater than 0, positive. So we put positive here, and we say the function is increasing function value is increasing. And between 1 and 2, we have f prime of x is negative, so the function, the underlying function, is decreasing between x equals 1 and x equals 2. And in between zero, 2 to 3, we have negative again, so the function is still decreasing between 2 and 3, and then for greater than 3, x equals greater than 3, we have the function increasing. So this is really what we're looking at. And so all local extrema. So we have, uh, and you can just kind of trace now that you have this, right? You're tracing, see where that's going to be a maximum here at x equals 1, a minimum at x equals Three. So we say there is to there is a local max at x equals one. Why? Because f prime of x changes from from positive to negative. And uh, also there is a local minimum and where at x equals 3 because f prime of x 
changes from negative to positive. So there we are, that's part A. Part B, same table, but this time determine the intervals where the graph of F is concave up or concave down, justify your answers. So again, we can put out a number line like we did for part A. And this time, this time, we'll make it flatter. Okay, that's what it's going to get. Okay, this time we're looking at F double prime of X. And we're looking where you kind of have the, the PPOIs, right? Potential points of inflection where F double prime of X, put F double prime of X up here and F of X below. Or F double prime of X is undefined or zero. So we have that also at X equals two. We have that also F double prime of X is undefined at X equals three. And then we have F double prime of X is negative between X equals two and X equals one. So that's going to be concave down. Let's draw a concave down like that. And between x equals 1 and x equals 2, we have f double prime of x is positive. So we have concave up. Between x equals 2 and x equals 3, we have f double prime of x negative. So we have concave down. And between 3 and 4, we have f double prime of x negative, so we have concave down again. And so we can summarize, we can say uh, f of x is concave down on we have negative 2 to, what is that, 0, union, 2, comma, 3, union, uh, 3, comma, 4, because F double prime of X is less than zero. And then we have F of X. It should be the graph of F of X, but this will, this will really work. Will work okay. It's concave up on between one and two. Because if double prime of x is greater than zero. Okay, our last part we're going to look at is part C. Same table, this time determine the x coordinates, if any, where the graph of f has a point of inflection. Justify your answer. Well, really and this is just what we did here problem part b okay we have f double prime above we have f below and our critical numbers would be zero excuse me one zero one two and 
free. Okay. And we have positive, no, negative. Negative, negative, no negative, positive, negative, negative. And so we have like this, like this, like this. And so we'll say POI at x equals 1, comma, x equals 2 because f double prime of x changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive. And really, that's it. So, convert it to this number line. It shouldn't have been that hard. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.